Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister wives why Janelle Brown was the best at the polygamy game. Despite her contentious divorce from Cody, Janelle Brown, star of Sister Wives, has been leading a happy life. As of right now, she is the sole divorced woman without a new partner. The 54-year-old, though, doesn't appear to mind being by herself. She's even considered by some Redditors to be among Cody's most intelligent ex-wives. See why others believe Janelle played the best game by reading on. Despite the Brown family's demise, Janelle has remained upbeat. The Sister Wives actress expressed support for Cody and Robin in an interview. She also thinks that the couple genuinely deserves one another and that they have finally found happiness together. She continued by saying that although she still thinks highly of her ex-husband, she does not see them getting back together. She went on, it would be like some kind of magical fairy tale where we all changed into different people, and that doesn't happen in real life. She is content with Cody's status as the fourth wife, though, and thinks he has been anticipating living a monogamous life with Robin. He is now discussing as we move forward into monogamy more and more. Thus, I believe that's his direction, she remarked, several Reddit users talked about Janelle Brown's superior performance in the game. The poster claims that during the presentation, viewers would learn a lot about Robin's facial expressions and eye rolls. The Redditor thinks Janelle was a far superior player of the game, though. I noticed that, but I also noticed Janelle's meanness and twistiness. She reminds me of a co-worker of mine, when things goes wrong for someone else, she can't help but smile. The poster said, I've noticed that Janelle will smirk or just completely disengage if somebody is crying or upset. Others concurred and emphasized how Janelle is frequently safe in the event of a family conflict. Others claimed that the father of the Brown family has always regarded the sister wives' star's opinions. She and Robin both performed reasonably well in the game by polygamist standards. Janelle positioned herself as the logical unbothered one, consciously setting herself apart from those other more emotional, more needy ones. Cody listened to her and respected her. She didn't have to compete with others for attention, for whatever reason. I believe that having all of her sons also benefited her. She wouldn't have had as much success with her game if she had a house full of girls. I believe the two were in luck together. I have a lot of boys in my house and I'm not needy or irrational. She had his ear because, in private, she tore the others to pieces, which gave Cody immense joy. Didn't work with Robin, though, Janelle avoided her since she realized she had been defeated a long time ago. Janelle has not yet disclosed her 2024 plans. The Sister Wives actress has been using her platform to promote various things on the internet. In the past, she and Christine said they had already started filming for season 19. Furthermore, it seems that she is not interested in dating again. Rather, the TLC personality has been dedicating more time to caring for her children and grandchildren. Mary Brown's new boyfriend is facing serious child support issues. Amos Andrews, Mary Brown's new lover, has been in trouble for unpaid child support for one of his three children. When the Sister Wives star unveiled her new man on her 53rd birthday, it delighted a lot of her fans. But the other shoe dropped as soon as the festivities got underway. So, what precisely is happening in terms of custody? Continue reading for further information. Fans of the ex-wives of Cody Brown expected someone to be significantly better. Mary Brown appeared sincere in her happiness for Christine Brown, who had found her happily ever after with David Woolley. She seemed to truly desire the same kind of affection for herself as well. Her description of the perfect man was so detailed that it appeared as though she might be seeing someone. However, she insisted that she remained unmarried until her birthday, at which point she disclosed Amos Andrews. Since October 2023, they have been together, and they have a lot of interests. When they found out she was blissfully in love and had her grin back, everyone was ecstatic. But it didn't take long to learn that he had four marriages. In addition to his four marriages, he also faced financial difficulties. Yes, Mary's life has been exciting, but as a boss and business owner, it has been intriguing in a very different way. It has now surfaced, according to The Sun, that he had problems with child support and Tiffany, his youngest kid. 
Shannon Marie Martin was Amos's second wife, whom he married in 1995. In 1997, they welcomed a daughter into their family, she was just 18 at the time. When the marriage ended in 2000, he was required to pay Tiffany $373 per month until she turned 18. This did not occur, and Shannon returned to court in 2013, saying the following. After the divorce in 2001, the father did not consistently pay child support until his wages were garnished in 2008. The father presently only makes $125 a month through wage garnishment to cover the roughly $10,000 in arrears spanning the last seven years. Then further information surfaced, which made the circumstances seem even worse. Shannon further asserted that she was unable to get in touch with Amos Andrews to ask him to update his address, email, and phone number. Furthermore, he didn't tell Shannon about it when he repeated this throughout the year. She added that Amos refused to contribute to the child's expenses for daycare, medical-slash-dental-slash-vision, and education. It was claimed by Mary Brown's beau that he didn't pay since Tiffany was residing with him. Additionally, Amos claimed that Shannon had stopped his accounts, a claim Shannon has refuted. Since she earned almost twice as much as he did, she was ultimately forced to provide him support. Mary Brown is off to a great start in the new year. She may have chosen to exclude family members at the beginning of 2023, but she has chosen to close it out by bringing someone new into her close circle. Officially, Mary Brown is a dog owner. On New Year's Eve, she acquired a puppy from a shelter in Utah. However, Mary Brown is not the only Sister Wives star that welcomes a rescue dog into her house. Mary Brown's family has grown. Although she is still unmarried, her paro in Utah home is a little bit fuller. Mary used Instagram to present her rescue dog, Zona, to her followers. Mary stated in the announcement post that she was afraid she would travel too much to provide a decent home for a dog, thus she had no intentions to obtain one. She still couldn't stop thinking about Zona when she finally met her on December 30th. The next day, she went back to the shelter and formally adopted the puppy. Even though starting a new family wasn't in her plans, Mary and her new friend are getting along well in their new existence. Mary has owned pets in the past. Despite having lived without a pet for a number of years, Mary is an avid animal lover. She didn't have a dog for a number of years, but she kept an eye out for Audrey Chris and Leon Brown. Although Mary has a particular affinity with Mosby, the rescue dog she spent a considerable amount of time caring for, Leon and Audrey possess two pets. When Sister Wives started, Mary was residing in Utah and had a dog as well. Although Drake resided with Mary and Leon, he was regarded as a family pet. The story of the dog's demise appeared in Sister Wives. In 2012, Mary, Leon, and Cody Brown returned to their previous residence in Utah to bury the dog near another former pet. Although viewers of Sister Wives are ecstatic about Mary's new arrival, there are other pet owners in the former polygamist family. Being a dog lover, Janelle Brown was more than happy to select her pets over Cody Brown. When Janelle lost her cherished dog, Jack, in March, she was devastated. She inherited Jack as a puppy after her mother passed away. She also owns two more puppies. In 2020, Christine Brown gave her daughter Gwendolyn a dog, the Brown children had several additional pets. Both Logan Brown and Hunter Brown have recently rescued dogs. Robin Brown, Cody Brown's wife, and they do not own pets.